Hello there. Um, welcome back to the No BS Fitness podcast with me, Robert Leap from RL Fitness. And it's been a little while. It's been probably about six to eight months since I last recorded one of these podcast episodes. And for that, I do apologize. Um, I do apologize that I've not put out an episode for a very long time. And there's lots of different reasons as to why that's happened. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about where I've been, what's been happening, and what you can expect in the future now that I'm going to start putting out more podcasts. Um, but as I said, I'm back now for season two of the No BS Fitness podcast. And sorry for all the radio silence. For me, this podcast it originally started as a little bit of a sort of side project, something to keep me busy during the lockdown and something to kind of keep me a bit sane and it was also uh, another way of me putting out some longer form content to talk about some of the common issues that people come to me to ask about and it was a way for me to kind of do some informative educational audio pieces all about basically some of the bs that is out there in the fitness industry and some of the you know the fads and the scams that are out there because I don't want people to waste time and money investing in things that are quite simply not going to work for them long term are going to result in them you know having no energy being really stressed losing a load of money and ultimately probably not losing weight or if they do lose weight regaining all of that back so as I say it is my aim to share simple no-nonsense fitness and nutrition advice that helps people to lose weight, that helps people to increase their fitness levels and become a healthier, better version of themselves. And as I say, I don't want people to waste money on things that doesn't work. I want people to do things that actually help them to get results long term. Things have changed a little bit for me recently as back in December, I actually started an apprenticeship in digital marketing. Now, I've been in the fitness industry for about seven years now. Um, My business has been going about seven years. And after a little while of being in the same industry, you do start to lose your passion a little bit. You do start to get a bit bored. And for me personally, I wanted to learn some new skills. I wanted to learn how I could market my business better. And I wanted to have a go at a new challenge and move into a different sector. So I've been doing that since December. I've been studying an apprenticeship and learning all about marketing and how to market myself better. And whilst I've been doing that apprenticeship, I've also been still running RL Fitness. And I've been doing that as kind of like a part-time thing, which means I haven't necessarily been putting loads and loads of time into, you know, running the business. And it's very much something I do in my free time in evenings and on weekends as more of a side hustle now. And for me, you know, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying doing it this way. And it has a, at times had challenges where it's been difficult to manage running, both having a job and doing the business. And, you know, I've had to kind of work out a way to do it that doesn't involve me burning out. As I say, I'm still doing the business and because I've been doing these two things with my own fitness, I've kind of slacked a lot. I haven't been as consistent in the gym as I maybe should be. And where I'm now working from home, like I'm sat down a lot of the day. I'm not on my feet all day like I used to be when I worked from a gym. And what I would say is working from home has definitely helped me to empathize and relate a lot more to those clients because I've always worked with people who are in this position. They have either worked from an office or they work from home. And they're basically a busy professional and they've always been, you know, kind of not very active and have struggled to find the time to exercise. So for me, it's been a really good learning exercise to kind of relate to my clients and learn a bit more about how I can, you know, with the limited time I have available, you know, fit in a very quick but efficient workout, you know, very quick and simple, healthy meal ideas, low calorie snacks and all of these kind of things that I was getting clients that I'm now doing for myself. And same goes for steps. Like now, if I want to get lots of steps, I have to make sure I go out for a nice little walk in the evening and I have to try and make sure that, you know, I'm taking breaks from the computer and that I'm walking around my flat to increase my step count. Because if I don't, 
I won't be doing many steps and I am going to be more susceptible to weight gain. I have rejoined Pure Gym again uh, as a member this time. And, you know, I've been going there with my other half. Uh, We have had, you know, a week or so off because we've been away, but I'm looking at going there on a more regular basis and, and, and going together with her. It does make me more consistent with it. And we're kind of holding each other accountable in that respect. I put on a bit of weight and I'm wanting to lose it. And diet wise, you know, I need to get better at that. Um, I need to be, you know, better at planning out what I'm going to have. I need to make sure I've got some nice healthy snacks in for when I'm sat at my desk and I'm not just like binging on chocolate and crisps and sugary stuff, which is kind of what I have been doing a little bit of. And it's just making sure that I'm getting out there and getting active. I'm being consistent with my workouts. Um, Like I say, I know exactly what I need to do to lose weight. And this whole situation has helped me to empathize a lot better with my clients, understand the struggles that they go through. And, you know, before I maybe haven't been the most empathetic person. And now I understand a lot better the struggles that they're going through and I can relate to it. And it's something that is definitely going to help to make me a better coach going forward. I am going to make sure that I'm putting out regular podcasts. And I'm also now recording video. Um, from my laptop so the podcast will also be going out onto youtube and then i'm going to be cutting down into little clips and putting that onto instagram reels and tiktok etc um so make sure you are following me on my social media channels as that is probably the best place to find out when i've published a new podcast something else i've worked on recently i have created a free download for my famous one dumbbell workout which is basically a really simple uh, workout that can be done in sort of 30 to 45 minutes. You only need one dumbbell and a tiny bit of space in the gym. And it's basically a workout I designed to do in busy gyms when, you know, particularly at peak time, all of the racks are taken, most of the machines are taken, and there's, you know, maybe not a lot of space and not a lot of equipment available that you can use. But you can nearly always get a dumbbell of some kind from somewhere in the gym. And it's kind of a workout I used to use myself. I used to use it with a lot of clients. And I've now put that together into a downloadable PDF. And it's also got video demos that show you how to do it. And like a little bit of an FAQ that explains some of the frequently asked questions and questions that you might have about the one dumbbell workout. I'll put a link to that in the show notes. If you're watching this on YouTube as well, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, I'm looking to get some guests on as well so that I can interview people, um, particularly people in the industry that are putting out good content, have similar values to me. So if you're listening to this, let me know your recommendations for people who you'd like me to interview and I will do my best to get them on the podcast. Um, Also, if you're listening to this and you're knowledgeable in fitness, nutrition, weight loss, uh, and you'd like to, or even mindset too, if you, and you'd like to appear on the podcast, um, do get in touch with me, either send me a DM on, you know, social media, particularly Instagram on Facebook is where I'm really active, um, or pop me an email. I'll put my email address down in the description for the show. Um, so yeah, that's it really just a very quick one to say that I'm back. We're on to season two of the podcast. Now I'm going to be a lot more consistent, And I just wanted to let you know kind of where I've been and why there hasn't been a podcast for, you know, kind of a good six to eight months. You know, I did the last one I posted was in June last year. And I'm intending to make sure that I'm putting out these podcasts on a regular basis. So that's it from me. Make sure to subscribe. Um, If you're listening to this on um, a podcast platform, please leave us a rating understand now on Spotify there's now a rating system so please give us a five-star review it really helps with getting the podcast discovered and please do share this to your social media you can share it to your Instagram story etc let a friend know about the podcast Um, and I'm very much looking forward to putting out more content I'll be back soon see you in the next one